this spring. The best in the nation come together to compete for the title. The 2014 U.S. Championships. The 2014 U.S. Championship and U.S. Women's Championship being played at the Chess Club and Scholastic Center of St. Louis. Hi folks, John Cordisco back again. Wow, wow, wow. What an incredible game. The U.S. Women's Championship 2014. It's round six between the current U.S. Women's Champion Irina Crush and Alyssa Malakina. I like Alyssa. Oddly enough, I've met both of them before and both got their autographs. Irina I've met a couple times, talked to briefly, and Alyssa I met at the World Open in 2010. Anyway, this is something you're not going to see a lot at this level. Bloomfield Gambit. I guess Alyssa decided to play the Bloomfield just to get Irina out of her preparation for her, something that she didn't expect at all, and it was true. We'll go through the first few moves here, the opening. It's really wild. You see a take with the F-pawn to avoid the queen trade. If you take with this, queen takes, and it's a little tougher for black. F takes, C, D5. It leaves black with a huge center. She sacrifices a pawn, of course. But those center pawns are tough. Knight to C3, bishop. E4 going right after the pawns immediately. And then D4. If black had taken after queen takes check, king takes. Not very good for black. According to the computer, it's a point and two thirds advantage for white. After D4, E5, Knight moves over to protect. Knight to a4. This is an opening I'm not familiar with at all. I don't think I've ever, I've probably seen it, I just don't recall. So I'm just as much as the dark as a lot of you are. a6. b takes. Interesting might have been b6 instead. But she took, knight takes, what a weird pawn position. And here we are in move 11 and neither black or white's even close to castling yet. Bishop c4, there goes the last minor piece on the king side for white. And knight c7, she brings the knight around again. Now it shows a tiny advantage for black, but it must be the c and d pawns coming down that are giving it the advantage. B3 by Irina and Bishop B7 by Alyssa. Bishop B4 just reinforcing that pawn. I mean, it's the only center pawn White has. It's on the fifth rank. It's kind of clogging up black a little bit here. Controls these two key squares here. Black friendly castles. Bishop G3. She comes back. Now that also shows that move on the computer as well. Of course, we all know, of course, why, because after your castle, this bishops and pre. So bishop and rook to f5. Now that move I really didn't expect. Computer calls for bishop to c6, hitting the knight, or bishop takes f3. Interesting. Weird, weird, weird. It gets this gets a lot crazier, believe me. Rook to f5. Bishop e2. Knight d5. That knight's in a really, really good spot. I mean there's no white pawns on either side to challenge it. That's a strong knight right there. Rook to c1. Computer has suggested if bishop to d3 instead hitting the rook. After rook moves, castle, knight f4, bishop takes, and rook takes. With a tiny minute advantage for black, we'll call it even. After rook to c1, 
Alyssa goes knight to f4. Now, that's the third choice in the computer, and all the scores are close. I like the first suggestion in the computer because I really don't want to give up that knight. And for white's crummy bishop, too, on g3. That's not that great of a bishop. White's good bishop is the light squared bishop. She had gone queen to e5 check. Queen, knight, then knight to f4. Bishop takes, rook takes. Rook, queen takes, rook takes. With a fairly decent advantage over a point for black. She chose not to go down. I think she mixed up the move order, frankly. Now, this is a fairly crazy position as it stands. And it's going to get a lot crazier real quick here. Bishop takes, rook takes, white castles, and g5. Now, g5 I'm not too sure on. I think she was pushing too hard. I think she thought she was winning. It shows you with a half point advantage, but it's, it's a little bit more comfortable to play black. That's for certain. Computer goes for queen to f8. Or queen to e8. I like queen to f8. Instead, she went g5. Knight comes back to e1. I think she just underestimated her position here. Uh, she tries queen to f8. I think it's, it's too late for that now. Knight takes. Then after knight takes, bishop d5. A little advantage for white, but I think that was better. Queen to f8, knight to d3. And this is another move I thought was very interesting as well. I mean, she's really going for it. Give you an idea, I mean, Anna Zikonsky and Irina Crush, who's playing white here, go back and forth over the years, the last nine years, they're the only two women that have won the U.S. Championship. And... Alyssa's not having that great of a tournament. And I think she was just going for it, frankly. Bishop of d5 is the suggestion on the computer. Queen to f5. I kind of like queen to f5 myself. It's a little more forceful. She goes rook to h4. She's just going all out. Figured I might as well go for it now. Now, I got to also to remember that Irina Crush's white was in serious time trouble. In fact, it got to a point... They're on a 30-second increment per move. It got to a point where Arena actually had one second on her clock towards move 40. That's a little tight. <laughs> and of course, when she pushed the clock and moved, she got an extra 30 seconds, which gave her 31, but that's a little tight. G3 is a suggestion for the computer. She goes Bishop G4, which the computer really didn't care for very much. She had gone G3 after Rook to H6. F4. And I think white sits okay. Truth be known. After bishop to g4, bishop d5. That's a good move. What to do, what to do. She played f4. The other suggestion was g3, which is about the same point value. f4 was the correct move. If she had gone g3, rook takes, pawn takes, Rook takes, queen takes. Now, believe it or not, white is up in this scenario. Two exchanges and a pawn. And barely has the advantage. Two-thirds of a pawn only. Because of the tremendous pressure on white's king. After f4, queen to h6. Good move there. h3. If she had gone f3 instead, rook takes, bishop takes, e takes. But a pretty even game, believe it or not, right there. Believe it or not. After h3, g takes. And I think this is where Irina stumbled again. The pressure was starting to get to her on her clock. Computer calls for bishop to f3, just to take away that, that really strong light-squared bishop of black hitting her queenside. 
She went queen to e2, and immediately the advantage is a slight advantage for black. White's under a lot of pressure right here. Give you an idea if knight had taken instead after knight takes, knight takes, e takes, bishop f3. Small advantage, half a point for black, but I do like black a lot better. It's a lot easier to play. After queen to e2, bishop to g5. Now these guys are winging it. I don't think Alyssa Malakina had much time trouble, but I know Irina Crushes White certainly did, and we're on move 25 now. Bishop f3. Computer shows it as dead even. 0.00. .00. Now this is where I think Lissa Malakina is black. Went forward and maybe miscued. The computer calls for c4 for black, which makes perfect sense. She went rook takes a4, and immediately the advantage shot up for white. If she had gone c4 instead, after rook takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes, f3. Believe it or not, this crazy position is dead drawn. <laughs> bishop takes, bishop e3 check, king moves, bishop checks, king to g1, and so on, and so on, and so on. You get the idea. That's why it's dead drawn. After rook takes, pawn takes the rook, c4. Now I know exactly what Alyssa's thinking. When this pawn took, this pawn now has free run. Now she's got two passed pawns on the fifth rank. I know exactly what she was thinking, and to tell you the truth, that'd be hard to resist that exchange sacrifice. Knight to b4 for white, and here come the black pawns. Computer suggests bishop takes f3 first, maybe. She goes d3. White is up the exchange. But she has over a two and a half point advantage for white. I sure as hell doesn't look like it. And we're on move 28. And I doubt if she's got two, three minutes left. Granted, you get a 30 second increment per move. Irene is in terrible time trouble. And this is where sometimes just showing the moves of the game doesn't really explain what was going on. Because of the fact that Alyssa was really taking advantage and trying to really complicate things under time pressure. And that's the decision that you make at the board. Queen to b2. Bishop takes f3 is a suggested move. She went bishop e7. And it went way up for Irina. Way up. Over, well, over four and a half points in score. Close to a rook in value. It's a lost position technically for black. If bishop had taken f3, rook takes... Bishop e7, rook, d2, check, king, queen takes, knight takes e5, and it's over. But after bishop e7, she took the bishop, got the intermezzo move first, check, king to h2. Now the computer says e takes, and it says doesn't get the cat out of the tree, whatever the hell that means. Bishop takes check, king to g7, pawn, discover check, queen f6, queen takes, knight takes, bishop f3, and the game is lost for black, absolutely lost. After bishop c5 check, king to h2, and then she took the knight. Now right now, see this is what time pressure will do to you, right now, it's over eight point advantage for white. That's close to a queen. Look at this position. You're white. Does it look like you're winning, really? With those three pawns coming down? With these pawns coming down here? Does it look like you're winning? But you are. Bishop takes d5. King to f8. Rook takes the other pawn, queen to g5, and rook to f3. 
Computer says bishop to e6 is even better. Because after queen takes, queen takes, knight takes, rook takes, rook to h5, rook takes, king to g7, and black is just busted. Completely busted down a rook and two pawns. After rook to f3, knight takes. If she didn't take and play queen takes instead, after queen takes, knight takes, rook takes, we go through that scenario again, bishop takes, rook to h6, and waits down a piece. After knight takes c5, queen to b8 check. I think what's happening is she's trying to gain some time on the clock. She's down to seconds, literally, around move 35. Just an interesting side note. A couple of rounds prior to this, Melissa Malakina, or I should say Alyssa Malakina, excuse me, is black, was in an interview, and she was talking about time pressure. And she said, when you're down on time, especially extremely, you're actually really down material, which I thought was an interesting statement. In fact, I've never heard it put that way before, but it's true. So right now, white's up by over nine points. But yet, because of the time problems, she's really almost losing. Kidney seven after the check. Rather than go through the whole ton of checks, we won't. Queen c7 check. King f6. Rook d8 check. Now, she's made those three checks right in a row to gain some time on the clock. She'll gain a minute and a half. Now, believe it or not, from this move, which is over almost 10 points, over 10 points now with the computer and score, and after king to f6 and queen to d8 check, she should have played queen takes c5. But she thought there was a mating that. Queen f8 check, king check, knight, rook, queen takes, rook takes, rook takes, bishop g8. It's overwhelming. Black loses. But after queen to d8, believe it or not, she's up the exchange and a pawn for white, and she's only up two points in score. This is where she messes up just prior to the time control. After bishop d7, queen checks again, just trying to gain more time on the clock, and she still was using it all up. After king to g7, this is where the computer says she made her major blunder on move 39, just prior to the time control. Rook to c1. And now it went from a two-point advantage almost for white to almost a three-point advantage for black instantly. I'm not sure what Alyssa's time was right now, but I know she had a lot more than Irina Crush. And D2 is the move. D2 is the move. She plays knight takes f3 check. And now the advantage is almost nothing. If she had played D2, after D2, rook, c to f1, knight checks, king, and queen takes d5. And black loses. Absolutely loses. And it's a shame. After knight takes f3, a bishop takes, rook takes, check. It is the computer move. G takes, queen to g3, check. King to h1. You see this coming. Check. King. Check, king, check, king, check, king, and so on, and so on. Probably went to h5 not to get a repetition, and the computer shows it is, is dead drawn. King to g1, queen to g4, and this is where they agreed to a draw. It was already two-fold repetition. She was going to keep on checking her, but there's nothing better. Anyway, folks, it's one of those games where you're winning and then you're losing, and then you're winning and then you're losing, and then you're winning and then you're losing, and then you think you're winning and you're actually drawn. It's a tough break for both players, actually. I think that would have been a great win for Alyssa Malakina as black. And this game 
if Irina had won as white, would have put her tied for the lead. Now I believe it is Zakonski, who are her main rival for all the championships, is now in first place by half a point. Tough game. I know uh, Irina Crush said she played badly, messed up a few times, which she knew. And she didn't sleep well the night before, she said, so she's thinking on the day off tomorrow. They have a rest day tomorrow. She's going to get a massage and maybe rest up a little bit. Frankly, I don't blame her. Tough game. Actually, it's kind of a loss in a way for Irina. And Alyssa both. It's weird. Anyway, folks, that's the game, I think, for today. More action coming from the U.S. Championship later. But for now, I want you all to remember, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. When you shoot a lot of pool and bars, you want to stay fast and loose, and you don't want to get filled up. That's why I drink light beer from Miller. It's got a third less calories than their regular beer, and it's less filling. Plus, the taste is great. And even though a lot of people don't think pool is strenuous, let me tell you something. You can work up a real good thirst, even when you're just showing off. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer.